Hi there, welcome back to 110 RC Scale Tales. I'm in the garage with the Traxxas TRX6. Now, if you like the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It does really help the channel. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more 110 RC Scale Tail videos, hit that notification bell. So let's not waste any further time. Why are we here with the Traxxas TRX6? Some of you might have seen it earlier in the year, doing some trail videos, and in April, it did its adventure across the Tay Road Bridge. But today, we're going to do a little bit of a modification ahead of winter. We're going to fit a snow plow. Um, here it is. Now, I've looked at these over the years. Um, they vary in price from 50 to 100 pounds, depending where you buy them from. Um, you can really justify that for the proviso it may snow. I saw this on a used ad on social media and it was 15 pounds plus posted, so about $20 all in. It arrived last week and I have to say, I'm really, really impressed. It's alloy, it has two shock absorbers there. Um, the blade at the front moves, dampened nicely. It's got a nice strong bracket there to mount it onto the front of the vehicle. Um, and we're going to mount this onto the front of the TRX-6 to make it useful over the winter. Um, to do this, I've had to buy another bracket. Um, pick this up on Amazon. Available elsewhere, of course. This was about £12, $15. Um, so we're going to fit this in the front. So let's not waste any more time. Let's plow on and get the snowplow fitted. So there is the Traxxas TRX-6. Now I've had this truck since release, now was it 2018, so it's about five years old. Obviously it was new with the Mercedes uh, G-Wagon body shell. Had that um, basically as was until I decided to buy this 6x6 Defender body by Team Rafi. And I have to say it's transformed the vehicle yet again. Um, very, very pleased with the truck. I have to say it's one of my favourite trucks in my collection in the fleet. And I've done a few trail videos that you may have seen. And of course it's a venture across the Tay Bridge. I'll post links in the description if you want to check out the various videos. Now the truck itself, as you can see, has a bumper right now. And um, this was adapted from an SCX-10 3 vehicle. So the Traxxas itself doesn't actually have a bumper mount at the front. So it's a bit make do and mend. I've got a couple of um, screws or bolts to um, loosen this side and again, I say on the other side. And then what we'll do is we'll fit the plow. Okay, let's do the other side. I'll just move the, this wheel. And let's get into the screws. Oh, looks like the bracket for the body shell has come away and is actually broken. So we'll get that fixed. Let's just undo these. So at the front there, you can see a supporting bracket. That just sits in the chassis, that should just pull off, like so. So the chassis should now be ready to accept the new bumper bracket. So obviously to fit the bracket, you would fit it like this, allowing you to fit a servo possibly on the top or possibly a winch. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn it around and fit it upside down. And that will give me a bit more height to fit the snow plow. So it should just slot in there. We'll just check and see if it's lined up with the holes. Yep, it's lined up the holes. So what I've done is I've put the, the truck on its side just to give me a bit more room. What we're we'll do is we're going to take the, the wheel off. Um, so we can see what we're doing. 
he says. This one quite tight. There we go. These have been actually quite good wheels. These are Proline Hyrax and um, pre mounted on 2.2, 1 1.9, sorry, 1.9 plastic beadlocks. They've actually been, been pretty good. Okay, now right, we've got a bit more room, so we'll see what we're doing. Now, the, the bracket actually came with hardware, so it should be a simple case of screwing that in there. This one's really tight. Take my time so I don't want to break the screw in the bracket and we can't get it off. Or it'll make it really difficult to come off. Oh, nearly there. There we go, superb. Right, next job is to fit this bracket. Now I think what we're gonna do is just put the screw in through that second hole at the top. So I'm gonna make that hole bigger and then get a, a slightly larger bolt. So what I've done is I took the bracket off trimmed it here and then got one of the, the bolts from the, the actual bracket um, kit and it's self tapping and screwed it in ready. So we're going to attach the body mount back onto the body shell and then attach to the bumper and bracket. That's it fitted. Get the wheel back on and what we'll do is we'll get the snow plug. So what I've done is I've just loosened these slightly. What we're going to do is locate them and then line the holes up. And then we can tighten them once they're secure. And I think what we'll do is we'll put the bracket about midway. And I think that should be more than adequate. Again, actual pins came with the kit. Forward. Other ones here. Oh, 
There we go. It just leaves now to tighten this up. There we go. Let's have a look. So, the <clears throat> so there it is, all fitted, looking very cool. I have to say, I'm very impressed. Pretty straightforward to fit. And the bonus is I've actually fixed the body mounting too. So, extra bonus there. It's very cool. So what we'll do, should we get snow in the coming weeks or the next month or so, when we actually get into the depths of winter, I'll get this truck out and we'll get a video and see how it performs. Well, hope you enjoyed that. And um, that's the TR6 ready for winter. And as I said before, if we get a bit of snow outside, we'll take the TRX-6 out and we'll get some video to see how it performs with the snow plow. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Please like the video if you enjoyed the video. Please comment, good or bad, I will reply. And hit that notification bell for future videos. Please me say, keep on crawling, keep on trailing, and we'll see you next time in the garage on 110RC Scale Tales. All the best now. Bye-bye.